synergists are muscles that assist the agonist. So the agonist in turnout and extension, this is extension of the femur bone. So this is what we were doing lying down. We were lifting one leg. This is extension. This is gluteus maximus. Synergists are muscles that assist the gluteus maximus, so they, they share a lot of the same functions. So what are they? All, all the hamstrings. There's three of them. Semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris. So the three hamstring muscles assist the gluteus maximus in expansion, taking the leg back. Um, quadratus lumborum is this muscle here in the lower back. Right here attaches the low ribs to the top of the ilium. It also assists in this action. And the, one of the adductor muscles also assists in this action. It's this on, on the inside of the hamstring on the inside of the inner hamstring. It's called, called the doctor magnus. You don't have to know all this names. I just, I just want to go through it with you so you get familiar. So what is the use of examples? Back bending, constrasana. choose which muscles you want to turn on a little more, off a little more. Depending on where you're really strong, chances are that's where you need to soften up a little bit. If you're really weak in your, for instance, in this pose, if you're weak in your hamstrings, it's really good to try to turn them on a little bit. But people who are weak here can't lift the leg. Oh, okay. They can't lift their leg because so when you can lift the leg, you've only got two choices. You're either using your glutes or your hamstrings, or both. And if you're both, if you're weak in both those muscle groups, you look like this. Have that part. Yeah, it's more of this action. 
there's something that's getting in the way for Tanya here, something getting in the way that her, in her gluteus medius anterior fibers are not firing just because she's asking them to, because there's something that's dominating, that's pulling her in the other direction, it's not letting go. So those fibers just can't do their thing because something has to release before that can happen. And she'll probably have a lot more insights by the end of today into what's not releasing. But is that clear? Do you see the difference? It's action. So in, in, uh, in upward dog, for example, Gluteus medius anterior fibers help to wrap the, the, the ilium bones, the pelvic bones, forward, right? It helps, it helps that action as opposed to this action. These are opposite actions. This is external rotation. This is internal rotation. So gluteus medius is one of the muscles, the front fibers of it, that takes you towards there, the higher there. Internal rotation, there. It's very subtle, as opposed to there. It's there too. This has to stabilize it, right? It all, like this comes forward, this stabilizes. They're coming together. This contracts as well. This wraps around. This contracts. That's upward dog, right? Mm -hmm. And then you pull up out of that, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps this safe. All right, let's go on. So gluteus medius is action. It internally rotates the hip, stabilizes the pelvis during walking. Posterior fibers may externally rotate the thigh, right? Those are all the things we just covered, right? The gluteus medius contracts and abducts the bent leg and janitor's asana. Anterior fibers also immediately rotate the thigh, protecting the knee. Gluteus medius contracts and abducts the straight leg, lifting it in Ardha Chandrasana. Sit with your legs out in front. Bring your hands to gluteus medius. Bend your right knee and bring your right heel into Janus Shukrasana. Is your gluteus medius firing on your right side? When you fire the front of gluteus medius, the part towards the hip bone, can you feel how that action pulls the hip bone slightly forward? Got it? That's an important action. As opposed to letting it be pulled all the way back, that's the main action, right? You are in abduction and external rotation. Those are the main actions in this position. Abduction, which is away from the midline, and external rotation. To balance those actions, anterior fibers of gluteus medius slightly engages and it creates this action of then bringing the hips all back around a little bit. That's what brings your hips back to square forward, forward as opposed to this.